thank you, Mike and Huey. Um, hello and good afternoon. My name is Alex. Um, I'm currently co-leading with Jiho and looking after you seven and eight girls. Um, we're now going to go into game time. Um, so let me share my screen. But while I do, um, it'd be great if you could grab your phone or another device. Um, we will be playing Kahoot. Um, so what you'll need to do is on your phone or another device, just go in um, to your browser and then pop in this web address. So www.kahoot.it. Um, or otherwise, if you've got the Kahoot app, you can also play the game there. Hey, Ali. Um, once you've logged, um, once you've gone into the URL, just enter the pin, um, which is 53004496, um, and then pop in a nickname and then join into the game. Hey, Alex, would you recommend that, you know, some people are sharing screens um, for this game, do you want them to have their own device? So if any, everyone has like their own phone instead of playing like as a family Would do you want them to play individually or? Uh, yeah, let's um, you guys can play individually um, and compete against your parents um, To make it a bit more competitive Thanks, Jiho Yep, so we've got a few names coming up so the theme is um, Obviously, we've got our parents joining in today um, but just to get to know a bit about um, what they grew up with, um, I've got a few questions um, based on the 1970s to the 1990s. Um, so hopefully that will bring some good memories back for the parents as well. Hey Alex, um, a couple of us have signed in, but the screen does not show any names. Do you mind just, I don't know, refreshing the page or? Um, it might be just like a slight glitch. It's coming. I'm scrolling through Can anyone's names that they can't see. As in, I think Jeremy Beck. Yeah, you might be able to see our names, but I don't think on our side we can see the names appearing on the Kahoot screen. We see no names. Oh, okay. You might have paused the screen share. Oh no, it's still sharing. Let me. We can see them moving. Um, can you see the Kahoot? Um, what can you guys see? We can see a Kahoot, the Kahoot page, but no names appearing. Maybe you just need to stop sharing and then try resharing again. All right, let's do that. Because you guys have entered in. Can you see the names now? Yep. Oh, perfect. So I'll give it maybe a couple more seconds. We've got 40 people. Alrighty, we might get started. Um, if you weren't able to join um, and then um, you're still entering in, the pin will still remain. So join it at any time as well. So let's get started. So it's on the 1970 to 1990s. Question number one, um, which one of the following is a hit by Elton John? So the answers will appear on the screen and you'll need to answer on your phone. For some of us, we might not know. So the answers are your man, your song, our time, or who is Elton John? Nice, um, so the hit was called um, Your Song, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> and Maya is taking the lead, nice work. Question two, in what year did the Beatles break up? 1969, 1970, 1971, or bugs don't break up. Um, it might've been a bit devastating for some of the parents here, but um, that was the case back then. Correct, so it was 1970, April 10th, apparently. Alrighty, let's see the leaderboard. So Matt and Belinda, nice work. Um, what does ABBA stand for? So ABBA is a group um, and they've released a number of hits, but what does ABBA stand for? Nice work. So um, it's each of the initials um, represent the names of the members. 
and Matt and Belinda, nice work. What what date to uh, what date? Sorry, that was my bad. Um, what date do they travel back to, um, back to in Back to the Future Part Two? So there's a number of dates, but in the movie Back to the Future Part Two, what date do they travel to? October twenty first, twenty fifteen. It might be it looked quite different to what it actually was. Oh, Matt and Belinda still running. Nice. Kaz is coming second. Eleanor, Candy and Maya as well. Nice work. We're halfway there. Um, what was Tom Cruise's breakout movie? Mission Impossible, Risky Business at Magnolia. I'm sure most of us know him from Mission Impossible, but what was his breakout movie? Risky Business. Nice work. Oh, Kaz, he come back up. All right, question number six. Which movie became the first to gross $1 billion at the box office in 1998? The Titanic, Saving Private Ryan, A Bug's Life, or The Truman Show? Nice work. It was The Titanic, such a classic movie. Oh, Kaz is still leading. Nice work. All right, question seven. In which 90s movie did Cole Nathan R. Jessop say, you can't handle the truth? Goodwill Hunting, A Few Good Men, or Deep Impact? These are a few classics. <laughs> Nice work. So it was a few good men. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Oh, Kaz is still leading. Grace comes up onto the leaderboard. Alrighty. Which 80s movie was the highest grossing film of the decade? Jurassic Park, Star Wars or E.T.? Hopefully all the kids have watched all these movies as well. <laughs> Nice work. Oh, that's a mix of an answer there, but it was ET, extraterrestrial. All righty. Kaz is still leading. Nice work. Next question. What is the name of the hit Whitney Houston released in 1987? How will I know? I want to dance with somebody or my love is your love. I know when I was reading them, you can kind of hear the tune in your head. <laughs> Yes, it was, I want to dance with somebody. Um, hopefully the parents are singing along. <laughs> All righty, Kaz, you're still leading. Nice work. Okay, I think this is our last question. So last chance. What song reigned number one the longest in, on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2019? So this one I brought it in just for our kids. Um, so is it Seven Rings by Ariana Grande, Someone You Love by Louis Capaldi, Truth Hurts by Lizzo, or Old Town Road um, featuring those people. <laughs> yes, it is Old Town Road, such a um, um, catchy song. So the winner is in third place, we've got Matt and Belinda, nice work. Second place goes to Le Levi, I think. And first place, Kaz, nice work, Kaz. Um, and then in fourth was Jen and fifth was Grace as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the session. I've um, got to know a bit about um, history. Um, but yeah, that's the game for today. Thank you.